Doctor shortage in rural areas, situation of general practitioners worsens. Date, May 9, 2023, 3.50 p.m. The primary healthcare provision in rural regions has further deteriorated, as confirmed by new figures from the Association of Statutory Health Insurance Physicians in Westphalia Lippa. A general practitioner from Petershagen in the district of Minden Lubecka is now warning of an impending collapse. Alexander Bloom is a dedicated rural doctor. The 47 year old moved with his family from Berlin to the peaceful village of Windheim near Petershagen in 2015 to take over a rural medical practice. It was a stroke of luck for the area, as finding successors for retiring general practitioners is often challenging. The initial enthusiasm has since faded. Dr. Bloom can no longer accept new patients and maintains a waiting list of around 100 individuals in need of a general practitioner. When someone moves away or passes away, a spot becomes available, and someone else can take their place, he explains. Undersupply in Westphalia on the rise. In East Westphalia Lipa and parts of South Westphalia, the shortage of general practitioners is most severe, according to the Association of Statutory Health Insurance Physicians in Westphalia Lipa. Municipalities with 1,607 residents per general practitioner are considered adequately served. More than half of all municipalities in Westphalia do not reach this level of coverage. In 20 cities, the coverage rate is even below 85%, especially in Petershagen, Bad Salzaflin, and Brillen. What does the rural doctor quota bring? To counteract the shortage of general practitioners, the state of North Rhine-Westphalia introduced the rural doctor quota for medical students in 2019. This allocates 7.8% of study places to applicants who would not have otherwise received a spot. In return, they commit to practicing as general practitioners in underserved areas for 10 years. However, it will still take years until the first of these aspiring rural doctors complete their studies and obtain accreditation as general practitioners. By then, primary healthcare provision in rural areas will have collapsed, fears rural Dr. Alexander Bloom.